So I had this insight recently about a root chakra. Basically, I was watching videos on how to best unlock it, how to best stabilize and balance it. And one person said something really interesting. He said one of the key causes of our root chakra being out of balance or blocked is actually our own judgment of our own thoughts and our own feelings. And that left me a little baffled at first because I was like, well, how does my root and everything sex related have to do with my thoughts? But if you think about it, I feel like that really is one of the key things because our root is related to safety. It's related to our base. It's related to our finances. It's related to how grounded we feel inside of our own body. And oftentimes what happens is that if we don't feel grounded inside of our own body, at least for me, what I realize is that instead of being in my body, I somehow end up in my head. It's almost like every time I'm trying to ground myself to be inside my body to stabilize that, you know what, this is me, this is how I feel, this is just what it is. What happens is that if something happens in my life, I end up thinking, thinking, thinking that I should do this or I should do that or I should not feel like this so essentially what ends up leaving me personally most ungrounded is just judging my own feelings judging my own emotions and thoughts for the sake of a common interpretation or understanding of what is acceptable what is okay and what we should be doing which I really would like to get rid of that word from human vocabulary because what does the word should even mean? How often do we say, oh, but I think I should, I'm not sure what to do, I'm not sure how to anything, and that really ungrounds us because what does it mean to be grounded? If you can think of what does it feel to be grounded in yourself, it means fully accepting of yourself inside of your own body, knowing that you are safe, you are taken care of, and all is well. Now, when we don't feel that, right, oftentimes what happens is we think that our feelings are not okay. We think that whatever we feel is maybe not what we should be doing. So what does should even mean? Should takes you out of your own body and puts you into your head. So essentially, if you wish to ground more, and it's something I'm personally learning as well, it's to just get rid of that word entirely. There is no should. You feel how you feel. You are how you are. You want what you want. That is it. That is all you need. Okay, that's all, that's just, that's just all we ever need. And we oftentimes fear that, like we're afraid to let go of that because we're afraid that if we let go of the word should, if we let go of the responsibility, what's going to happen is that we're going to go to this place where we just become lost in our feeling and we kind of don't do the things that we need to do in this physical reality, basic things, work, study, you know, just basic things that we all do that are part of this life, part of human life. And so we're afraid subconsciously that if we let go of that responsibility, we will not actually act on that responsibility. But if you think about it, everything that we do, everything that you do, everything that I do, right? If we say we should, it's because we actually want to do it. We choose to do it for one reason or another, but it's a very subtle difference. If you feel something, if I feel something, like for example, today, I was talking to my friend and I was processing my feelings and I'm like, well, you know, I really feel this way and I really want to express that. But then I was like, well, but maybe I shouldn't. What if this happens? What if that happens? And then I snapped myself out of that and I said, this is just how I feel. This is just how you feel. And that's okay. And I expressed that. And even though I was at first a little bit afraid, because sometimes it's easier in theory than in practice to establish your own boundaries and your own worth and your own value. But when I expressed that, actually he respected that a lot more. He said, yeah, I agree. Of course, of course. Because it's like when you establish boundaries, when you establish that, when you truly accept how you feel, the people that are right in your life will stay and everyone else will fall off. So essentially what it really comes down to is when you feel something, 
and we say should, it takes us out of our own body and it puts us into our head. And I feel like it's one of the biggest main really things that we do to ourselves and make us feel very ungrounded and feeling ungrounded can mean many things we don't feel safe in our body we don't feel like we have financial stability we don't feel loved we don't feel supported and all of that relates to the root chakra right so if we want to take care of that i feel like if we are able to balance our root if we're able to take care of that root cause of the energetic imbalance of ourselves and to ground ourselves in our body we would no longer have those feelings because those feelings are a symptom everything we feel stuff that happens in our lives our external reality is a reflection of our internal alignment And I hear this a lot where people say your external reality is a reflection of your internal reality, but it's internal alignment that really determines how your life is, how you respond to everyday life situations, because based on how you are within your system, within your own alignment, it determines how you will see things and how you will respond to things. And there are a lot of ways to balance your chakra, you know, they say, and it's funny to me because I was looking into this a lot and I would say try balance it, but every time I try to do something, it just never works. So they say, you know, what's helpful and it is helpful for some people is they eat red fruits, they eat red food, they do color red, they listen to binaural beats music, which I actually found to be very helpful, but I put the big headphones for like two hours and I just listened to that, that did something. But at the root of that, there is more things that go into it. People say, you know, it's it's really a core of your safety and it really causes everything. Because if we don't have our root balanced, how are we supposed to balance everything else? Just think about it like this. If you, if you go and look at a tree, how does a tree grow? A tree has roots, right? A tree is rooted into a ground in soil. A good tree that is well grounded will then grow to produce good fruits. But what we try to do is we try to produce fruits. We're like, well, I really want to do this in my life. I want to accomplish whatever you wish to accomplish. And we're like, well, I want this fruit on my tree. But do we have the roots for it? Because it doesn't matter how amazing our tree is. It doesn't matter how well we water it. It doesn't matter how much energy we put into nurturing that. If we don't have good roots, if we're not well grounded, we will not be able to produce anything solid. Anything that we produce, if we don't have good soil, if we don't have good roots, anything that will grow off of our tree will just be feeble and weakened it will fall and crash and burn which is what's been happening to me you know like i would be like oh i i want to create this i want to do this because i like that stuff and well i would do it but it would always crash and burn and it wasn't because of anything that i did wrong when you create something it's never because of your own self that you don't have power you don't have worth it's nothing to do with that it's just are we well aligned within ourselves are we well grounded enough to produce that so when we look at creating something the first question to ask is are we able to be well enough grounded within ourselves do we have those stable roots to grow a tree that will support the fruit that we want to produce and that's something i've been working on as well too because i realized this actually as i was going to california driving through a desert for i don't know how many hours and i was driving through a desert and i was like well all right desert Something about a desert just felt grounding to me. And I realized that that groundedness of a desert really had to do with the fact that desert is all about ground, its root. And we don't give enough credit to a root. We don't give enough credit to the ground. Because we all focus on the tree. We all focus on the fruits. But where do the fruits come from? How are you going to grow fruits if you don't have... A tree that's rooted well, right? So that's really all it boils down to the root chakra. Again, if we're able to balance ourselves by not judging our own emotions because we just are how we are. We are all like a seed that we planted. Something planted us into this earth, okay? And we all just grow. And that's just how we are. We just are how we are. Okay, you just are how you are. That's okay. The good and the bad, the judgments are mind-made. 
what happened earlier today is that you know i'm into spirituality so it's like oh you know you just you drink kombucha and all that cool stuff but it's like it's just it's i like that but it's not any better than anything else so what happened earlier was that uh i leave my door or open to the hotel because i like air and these four guys just started walking into my room i was like wait what like that was just the weirdest thing ever because i left my door open and i went to get the light and as soon as i come up just like four guys just walking into my room i was like okay so what happened was that I didn't react at all. It was just funny to me because they thought that my room was someone else's room and they were just drinking. They were living their life. That's okay. That's their life. Oftentimes people tend to judge that. Oh, you know, this person did that. This person did this. But it is none of our business. You know, how they live their life is how they live their life. I want them to be happy how I live my life. That's how I live my life. I want me to be happy. And that's, I feel like that really comes from grounding yourself first. Because if we're grounded in ourselves, we are aware of the fact that the self that you have, the self that I have, is me. That's my responsibility. My responsibility is this body awareness. That's it. Everyone else is everyone else's awareness responsibility in the sense of how they wish to live their life. We cannot ever change anyone else. We cannot, you know, it makes no sense to judge anyone because we simply cannot change them. It is their life. It is their choice. What we do with ourselves is our choice. That is the only true power we have. Not that there really is any power, but that's a whole other topic. Okay, so our responsibility is this particular body that we have. And that really comes from just grounding ourselves because if we're not grounded, we tend to identify with everybody else and everything else and we say that oh you know but I have to do this for the other person I have to help them and it's good to want to help someone else it's good to help other people but the first thing you want to ask yourself is is this coming from your heart or is this coming from your head because what I notice that oftentimes I want to do something but it really doesn't come from my heart sometimes when we want to help someone else we have those good intentions but it's important to gauge are we helping them are we able to help them and are we sacrificing our own selves because you and them are equal it's just two humans okay because the uh, consciousness above us the universe doesn't do that judgment think about it like this if you create a puzzle if you if you craft a beautiful painting right let's just say the puzzle you know when they have this puzzle pieces they just fit together right if you create that all the puzzle pieces are created to fit exactly how they're meant to fit and each and every single one of them is needed right you need every single puzzle piece doesn't matter if it's part of the sky it's all white or it's part of an eye it's all pretty and flickery and whatever glittery right you need every single one of them to have a finished creation to have a finished painting and so this is just like humans each and every single one of us is here to be here the way that we are created and so it is not our job to judge anything it is not our job to say oh but i want you know to be more like this or like that if it is abandonment of ourselves and it really deals again back to grounding because only when we are able to ground only when we're able to know that yes this is me this is how i feel then we can help someone else better because we if we unground ourselves, we identify with everything and everybody else. And I used to have this problem a lot because I was always feeling everything and everybody else. And that's still okay. You can ground yourself and still feel everything and everyone. But it becomes a choice. Because being grounded is like being aware of the fact that this is your body. This is what you are responsible for. And everything that happens outside of you is not up to you. So being grounded just means being aware of the fact that universe wants best for us, whoever created us, and just having that safety within yourself. And that can be hard to do if we judge our own thoughts and our own emotions. So when that person said that in the video, that really kind of just jolted me to, you know, it's a key. We all focus on the colors, the foods, the whatever, but the root, of the root chakra 
is our own judgments of ourselves. Because there is no way on earth we can balance and ground ourselves until we stop judging how we feel, until we fully accept ourselves, until we fully accept how we feel, until you're able to say, you know, this is just how I feel and that's okay. And you go about that in a respectful manner because someone else feels how they feel. That's okay. It's important. But so is your own opinion. And that can be hard to do at first, but it really boils down to putting in the effort to understand that your own feelings matter. And if you're able to stop the judgment of the self and to say that I was just made this way, if the if universe made me to have a bitch attitude sometimes, well, then I just have a bitch attitude sometimes. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't mean to hurt you, but like I'm just created that way. Okay, like that's just me. So it's really just that accepting of, well, that's just me. That's just how I am made. And whatever comes out of that, just do it from your heart. Do it in a way that's kind and respectful, but also to yourself. Respecting yourself and respecting how you feel. And I think that really is the key that helps a lot. And it has helped me a lot personally. And yeah, I hope that makes some sense. And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.